I'm Jonathan Gerwitz, partner with KGB Texas Communications, and welcome to The Point. Today, we're visiting with Jesus Sines, the city of San Antonio's director of airports. Jesus, welcome to The Point. Congratulations, you're back to an exceeding pre-pandemic travel uh, levels. Talk about um, what, that, what the trends are right now. Yeah, as you think back to what happened in uh, summer of last year, fall, the Christmas holidays, and then just this week, which should normally be a, a low period, they've all exceeded the 2019 numbers. So we're on track to continue to progress towards growth opportunities for the airport. And that's a reflection of not only domestic, but international increase in, in, in traffic volumes. You've been through a strategic development planning process. I think that's six plus years that you've been in that process, um, planning for anticipating growth and customer enhancements. Talk about, tell us about some of those enhancements that travelers can, can now experience here at the airport. A number of initiatives have, have, have taken place, whether it be in the concessions, which is the food, beverage uh, offerings and retail offerings that we have available. You've seen uh, new restaurants that have opened, whether it's Beer Code, Super Bien, Whataburger. Yeah. But along with that, um, the introduction of the throughput processing times uh, last year, we were ranked number one in the nation by Wall Street Journal for our yeah. processing throughput times ranked number one in the state of Texas overall airports and number four overall in the nation as we compare ourselves to other similar size medium hubs. So we really work hard day in and day out to provide um, the best airport possible when people enter and whether that's you know pre-security or post-security. Um, a new offering that's really exciting that people can't stop buzzing about is the valet service. Right. right so valet is now offered here. We started with 80 spaces and now Today we're up to 500 spaces available for valet and that's just because of the peak opportunities um, that uh, are, are, are being uh, necessary in order for us to meet the passenger demands. You also recently unveiled the terminal development plan which has more uh, enhancements for customer experience. Tell us a little bit about the TDP. Yeah, so that's super exciting as we look at the new terminal complex. It's really taking the existing footprint of where the airport lies today and, and transforming it. Um, there were some bridges that we needed to take as with anything we dealt with COVID for two years. Yep. So we're, we feel like we're on that post COVID era and that new norm. But first of all was the, the expansion of three additional gates. So we put two gates in B, one gate in terminal A, We'll be adding a brand new ground loading facility that will right. give us up to five ground loading positions to further uh, bridge us into the future of the expansion of the up to 17 gates for the new terminal complex that we'll be putting in place. Up to 800,000 square feet A and B together are close to a little over 600,000. So that tells you the magnitude of that uh, terminal development program that we will be putting into play. Part of the strategy for, the, for that new uh, terminal is to attract more nonstop service to and from San Antonio, right? It is, as, as we continue to progress forward in the work that we're doing. So whether it's the operations and maintenance, the customer experience, the administration piece, a big focal point of everything we do is about providing improved air service development to the city of San Antonio. So we've had a number of wins here over the last two years, um, whether it was the Boston flight with JetBlue, uh, a number of increased capacities by Southwest. The launching of Spirit, you know, we just started LAX service last week. So uh, five new destinations with Spirit. In 2021, uh, Viva Arabus launched Leon Mexico, which was in the Bajio region. We were really excited yeah. about that. And of course, you know, focusing on international service, transatlantic service, or Canadian service that I think would prove to be really successful here in San Antonio. So domestically and internationally, uh, we're continuing to move on the air service piece. And you'll have some gates at the new terminal that can uh, service wide body jets. So more potential for more international flights, more long haul flights, right? That is correct. So. Uh, We'll have up to six gates that could be utilized uh, for three wide body positions as we start to look outwardly into 2028. Five years from now, what does that footprint look like and who's providing service into San Antonio International is all reflective on um, the hard work the team is doing to continue to promote service into SAT.
Talk about the impact that the that the airport has on the local economy. Just talking about payroll and construction and, and everything that goes on here. 2019 was a, a, a career year. I mean, all records were broken for SAT. Um, $5.2 billion economic impact. We have over 20,000 badged employees that work here at this airport. So um, as we continue to grow and expand, it's important. It's the economic engine for the city of San Antonio and um, could not be possible without the support that we continue to receive, whether it's the chambers, whether it's the groups in the communities, or whether it's the administration uh, that continues to support all the work that we're doing. Going down to the people that are here day in and day out to make it happen to ensure that the airport functions 24-7, 365. What's on the horizon for technology and, and air travel? What's gonna change? What are we gonna see here at the airport that's new? We have uh, one of the most evolutionary pieces. San Antonio will be one of the first, is actually the first airport that's coming out. It's on the airfield. It's called RIPSA, Runway Incursion Prevention Through Situational Awareness. is a brand new pilot program that we just instilled. A number of changes are occurring with advanced security lanes, TSA throughput uh, opportunities that will exist. Um, we're transforming all of our existing AT machines to CT machines. We'll have that done right at the end of this summer. And a number of different uh, opportunities that are, that are there as we continue to be a, a very accessible facility. We've done some work as it relates to sustainability as well. So um, whether it's the solar panels or new electrified uh, opportunities that we have with uh, ground loading equipment out on the ramp areas. So a number of initiatives that are happening across the entire airport complex as it relates to innovation that are going to help overall accessibility and sustainability and then ultimately improve the passenger experience. We're headed into the busy summer travel season. Any advice for local travelers as they're headed to the airport? Absolutely. <laughs> Valet is what, is, why, is what I would give the recommendation to everyone. Um, Parking is at a premium these days. Right. Uh, we're excited. We're still averaging seven minutes on a TSA throughput uh, line. That doesn't mean you get here 15 minutes before your flight leaves and think you're going to make the <laughs> flight. So we encourage everyone on a domestic flight to still arrive an hour to an hour and a half early. And obviously with an international flight with the requirements for all the paperwork that needs to be performed, we ask everybody to arrive two hours early. Um, but parking is, is probably our, our largest concern, uh, a lot of growth. As we look into the summer, we average around 15,000 passengers that depart here every day. Uh, the first weeks of June, we start with 20,000 passengers leaving here every day uh, throughout the summer period. So a lot of increased uh, activity, uh, which is very promising for the airport, a lot of growth, um, and very appreciative and thankful to the entire team for the work that they do day in and day out to ensure our passengers are satisfied when they come into our facilities. Well, hey, Suze, thank you for the great work that you and your team are doing here at the airport. Thank you for ho hosting us this morning, and thank you for joining us on The Point.